This data sufficiency question is asking for the ratio of two ratios. Why do I say that? Because the average height of students in a class is a ratio, right? It's the total heights, it's the sum of all of the heights divided by the number of students. So the average height in and of itself is already a ratio. And by the way, any average of anything is a ratio for the same reason. And they want to know the ratio of one average height to another average height. So they're asking for the ratio of two ratios. Now, statement one can't possibly be sufficient on its own because it only gives us the average height of one of the classes. So it's like if someone said to you, hey, this ratio is so-and-so, what's the ratio of that to this other ratio, which I'm telling you nothing about? Of course, that's not sufficient. So eliminate answer choices A and D. Now, statement two on its own tells us that the overall average height for the two classes combined is 126, but I can't even tell which class has the taller kids and which class has the shorter kids. So I certainly couldn't tell you the ratio of the two classes. So statement two is not sufficient on its own either and we can eliminate B. Now, if I combine the statements, I can tell which class has the taller students. But what I can't tell is how much taller are they as a ratio. I mean, we can certainly say now that class X has the shorter students on average, because on average they're six centimeters shorter than the overall average, but what's the average height in class Y? I can tell that it's more than 126, because 126 has to lie somewhere in between 120 and the true average height for class Y. But since I don't know which class has more students, I can't even tell whether 126 is closer to 120 or closer to the average height of class Y. And I certainly can't tell the ratio of the average height in class Y to the average height in class X. So I'm gonna go with answer choice E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.